My name is Paul Landry Aronson. I'm an MD at the Yale School of Medicine in the departments of Pediatrics and Emergency Medicine. This topic will be pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma is a catecholamine-producing neuroendocrine tumor that most commonly arises from the chromaffin cells of the adrenal medulla. The rule of tens is a helpful rule for the percentages that are associated with pheochromocytoma. 10% are familial, 10% are bilateral, 10% are malignant, 10% are extra-adrenal, and 10% occur in children. Pheochromocytoma is associated with the following conditions. Multiple endocrine neoplasia, types 2A and 2B, neurofibromatosis, and von Hippel-Lindau syndrome. Pheochromocytoma presents with episodic symptoms that can be categorized with the mnemonic the six Ps. Pain, or headache, pallor, palpitations, or tachycardia, panic or feelings of anxiety, perspiration or diaphoresis, or pressure, i.e. hypertension. Diagnosis of pheochromocytoma is made through elevated plasma-free metanephrines, which is the test of choice for diagnosis. Diagnosis is also made with elevated 24-hour urine metanephrines and vanillyl mendelic acid, or VMA. With discovery of elevation of these blood and urine tests, Imaging is performed for tumor localization. It may include CT scan, MRI, or MIBG scan, which is a nuclear medicine scan for tumor localization. Critically, biopsy of a suspected pheochromocytoma should not be performed, as this may precipitate a hypertensive crisis. For treatment of pheochromocytoma, an alpha adrenergic blockade is given preoperatively, often with phenoxybenzamine. This is to reduce the associated severe hypertension. It is important to not give a beta blocker without first giving an alpha blocker, as giving a beta blocker first will result in unopposed alpha agonism in severe hypertensive crisis. Definitive treatment of pheochromocytoma is surgical vasection, often an adrenalectomy.